In this episode, we install the chain plates and prepare for the stepping of the mass. <laughs> Good. Andy Keenan from Keenan Filters joins us to teach us about the benefits of using diesel fuel filtration and polishing systems. I attempt to find a place for nine additional crew members. And we finally finish up with a new hydraulic system. On the other way now. All while doing our best not to be kicked out of the boatyard. I'm Aubrey, and last summer I bought a pirate ship. She's a 51 Formosa. You like those new mallets I got. How's that, Tech? Nice. We're taking out the old one, which is slightly smaller than the new one, which is a little bit of a problem because we're not supposed to be doing any work here, but we're just using the chisel and we're just gonna eat and put it in. Um, we gotta go, we gotta get out of here. Oh, I see daylight, it's good and bad, right? The boatyard rules have changed. As of this week, owners are no longer allowed to work on their own vessels. Do it yourself is a thing of the past at North Harbor Diesel. And to make matters worse, there's a very long wait to have the yard do even as much as a light bulb change. So we're going to do our best to button up as quickly and as quietly as possible. Come on, we gotta go, we're gonna get in trouble. Okay. Oh well. Okay. Teeny tiny little bit bigger of a hole. Okay, it's Sunday, so. Shh. Oh, I will not miss these stairs. Let's head up to the helm station to fill and test our new hydraulic lines. I'm going the other way now. That's not good news. I don't know what is. We have steering again. Woohoo! Getting close. Searle's making a fried egg breakfast. Tell them how much you love them. Hey! <laughs> My first failure of the day. You got the worst haircut ever. You look redonkulous. Mm -hmm. Hey, Bob Ross. Hello, Bob Ross. I would like you guys to see what I did in here. Um, if you look at this, this is toilet paper. And this toilet paper is to prevent any latent drips from the stuff we put in the hydraulic system. What is it called? FCW? <laughs> <laughs> What is it called? ATF fluid. ATF, all terrain fluid, is that what it is? I knew that. I was just seeing it. He knew that. These are the things that we have to do today. So I am dressed and ready, and we're gonna go first to West Marine, then to the lumber uh, place to order some ironwood for the backing plates. And then when we get back to the boat, we are not leaving again. I'm gonna put on some overalls and we're gonna get busy. You so mean not working in the yard? Not working in the yard, that's right. No. Projects of randomness. Please tell me what you're doing. We are... We are stalling. We, we are stalling. Did you, you can't find the keys to get going? No, I did find the keys. But you I just don't want to have to walk into the shop with this whole piece. <laughs> okay, so, you guys, as you know, we have ducks in the tub. <laughs> Okay, the ducks are so messy, like seriously messy. Here they are, and it smells so bad. They're so cute though. They need to go to a farm soon. It was all fun and games, hatching them out, and now it's time for them to go be ducks on a farm, not ducks on a boat. So now I have to put them on Craigslist, which I've been stalling on because then I don't know the people that are taking my babies. 
but they can't live here anymore. They smell so bad. Um, it's easy to clean pretty much, but yeah, it's not good. Okay, we're at the mailbox. Andy Keenan from Keenan Filters has sent us a 95 pound package full of goodies. Let's go get it. Are you feeling very strong right now? Are you feeling full of muscles? Oh my goodness. Okay, push your way, babe. Sorry. Thanks, babe. You got a lot of the packages? I do. And you know, it's gonna be a good day when it starts off with fasteners and lattes. I'm gonna spill this on myself. Now you're gonna ring it 10 more times. <laughs> Get one of these for the famosa. Yeah, go fast. Okay, let's order some. A Dometic refrigerator Ooh, for the inside of the boat. Pump the air. Well, Andy Keenan from Keenan Filters has come, and we have Mexican Train, which is a domino game, and this Dometic full of beer. He's gonna help us tune the engine, and he's gonna put in Keenan Filters, which we are super excited and so thankful to have him out here. He used to own a Formosa. Um, actually, I think you guys have seen it uh, on The Daily Show. It actually sank in a hurricane, sadly, but he had the same exact boat. Andy and his wife, Carol, are coming out to help us, and we have filled the fridge with beer because they are coming out, and we're just so overjoyed to have them. So, anyway, there are peeping ducks behind you. They need to go onto the Craigslist. But now they're ducks. They were gonna be breakfast, but now they're ducks. What was I gonna tell you guys? Oh yeah, we're putting the shower together. Bianca's cleaning out the bathtub because last night the ducks were just like jumping out. Parkour! What are, you, what are you doing? Why are you out here? Come here. Come here. Oh. Why are you out? So you gotta do what your friends are doing. You stay in there. Every time they get out, Sora goes, parkour! Okay, you! Frankie, don't even think about it. Purple dogs don't eat ducks. So we went from this. Which didn't really fit into the shower. It's way too big. Yeah. So, so we went from brush brass to copper. Well, it's okay. It's a little steam pump. And we're just gonna use a, a quick weld, quick reinforcing steel epoxy. You got JB weld pumping through your blood. This is when I say, what could go wrong? How are you doing? Do you love your ducks? This is why everyone needs a bathtub on a boat. We need to carry this quick set steel one and we need to carry the slow set one as well. This one right here, we're gonna sand it until it's not gray anymore. This is the plan to sand it up and down. Job, babe. Proud of you. The heat is on. We just got a message from our rigger, Kent, and he said that we have to be ready to go in the water on Monday. And so Searle is super stressed out. He just left. I don't know what's gonna happen. We might have to crew up. I'm not sure. But uh, one thing's for certain, we are going in the water pretty soon.
As I varnish, I just cannot believe that in a week's time, there will be a mast here. And that's his stuff and it's great. Right. Two men hard job with it. That's when I, I did mine. Okay, you guys, the final chain plate is going on the boat. Andy from the other side of the world. What are you doing here? <laughs> Got roped into coming over here. <laughs> no, nope, having a little fun. From Bahamas to Washington. I'm getting the last chain plate on. Oh, this is very exciting. Look at that. A picture of Cyril right here. Oh, here, I'll pass that to you. All right. You can smile. Yeah. <laughs> There's the Another man, the myth, the legend. smiling going on down here. Right. Okay. <laughs> Gotta push the top one. I bought approximately five of these. <laughs> yep, we're gonna use them. And you wanna buy the biggest pipe wrench you can get. You want it? Yeah. Ah, look at that. Yeah. Not only does he send it, he comes all the way across the country to unload it for me. <laughs> Full service. Full service. Look at that. That's it. Look at that. Fancy. Please inspect your product and let us know if there's anything wrong. <laughs> you have your manual. Ooh, fancy! Carol sent out all of the parts and tools necessary for the Keenan filter installation. They sent it before their arrival Christmas. so that we could get right down to Look business. Look at that. There'll be a test. There's, we there's inspected the contents of the box and approved of everything. It was all there and over. All right. For mounting. That's the, that, that one there I, I doesn't have the... These are cutout templates. Wow. I wanted to tell you that. But I put them on sticky paper. So you just put them on and you Fantastic. just... Yeah, it makes it easy. So yeah. I thought okay. I was special and they yeah, brought me them. all of the fancy stuff, but I guess this comes in every box. So <laughs> you can be special too. That's special. Ooh, Custom made. Oh, wow. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Uh, we were going to paint these all white. But Carol uh, uh, said, no, let's keep them gold. We'll make it the gold standard. So this would be very easy to do. The hardest part's going to be wiring it. Well, we got we to run the cables up so you have in, in, indication and control and power. Okay. A normal normal situation that we've seen is that you're, you know, you're out there cruising and, and you, you know, you've done an overnight passage or whatever it is, but you've, you've, been, you've been operating the engine for, for hours and hours at, at a higher RPM. So now, now you throttle back to, start to maneuver coming into coming to a harbor or you know in, into the marina area and the engine starts to die and one of the reasons is is because your filter is partially clogged and your um, you, you reduce your fuel flow your, your pump pressure so it starts to starve for fuel so so a nice thing is, is if you have the if you have the, the availability of a pump you turn the pump on now you got backup fuel pressure to get you keep you keep you moving to the harbor. And what is happening out here? A little wiring. A little wiring. Yeah. Oh Gotta boy. Gotta make a new panel. Oh boy, that doesn't look like a little wiring. Well, <laughs> they're little wires. Oh, it looks well, like a bird's nest up here. Yeah, we're uh, he's gonna take it apart and put your new panel in. Oh, that's exciting. Yeah. All right. And, uh, ah! You'll have all ah! The, you'll have all Searle's the a demo unit. Running cable. <laughs> Fits. What do you know? This is your timer. Oh, okay. So when you, when you, uh, transferring fuel. Transferring fuel, this is what you'll turn. And this okay. would be 15, this would be 30. You'll get a spot that you get used to using. Okay. So I'm going to cool. tighten everything up. Cool. Yep. Nice. Yeah, it'd be good. The sweet sound of a Keenan filter alarm going off. Yeah. Do you hear it? Yeah. Cool. Let's check it out. Uh-oh. Oh, there's the culprit. 
the uh, EFS actuator. Okay. So you switch from the helm. If you want to switch filters manually, you just move the handle. Okay. So you're taking, going from filter one to filter two. These port fuel from the online filter to the offline filter. So you got to know if you're on filter two, you can pump fuel to filter one. You're going to be able to go ahead and open up this filter housing here. Okay. You're going to pull the element out. You're going to put the element back in. Then you're going to fill it back up. Great. Uh, I'm also going to show you how to blow out the bottom of the, the bowl. Okay. And we talked about that. You pressurize it. Which pressurize is it. Cool. There's two ways of doing it. Gravity. Mm -hmm. And that's by opening up the lid here and, and opening the valve here. And it's like a straw. You let the fluid mm -hmm. drop down. That little mm -hmm. pet cock at the bottom underneath or in the... Each bowl has okay. a pet cock. Okay. Um, <laughs> pet cock. Pet cock. So on the unit here, you have two valves you, which you can't see at the bottom. Okay. One in the very back is your inlet shutoff valve. Mm -hmm. The one in the very front is your bleed or polishing valve. Okay. So to take fuel with the pump on, to bring it back to the tank, you need the valve open. So you're okay. taking fuel from the tank, through the filter, through the pump, and back to the tank. Okay. Now, if you want to, if you want to build pressure up, you've got to close that that bleed valve and build pressure up. Because right now we're dumping it back to the tank. Mm -hmm. If you want to build pressure to fill the other filter or to bleed the engine, you need to build pressure up by closing that valve. Okay. And that's what that little gauge is here telling you. You see the needle pump, pumping up and down. Yep. That's pressure. Now picture you're doing this with the engine on, your main engine on. You can't hear anything. Right. So now you have indication. Okay. This right here is a flow sight, and with that switch tanks, uh -huh. and you run the whole thing completely dry. So what you're going to do is you're going to switch to a, a good fuel source, the other tank. And then you're going to turn on the pump, and you're going to open up this this valve here, right? This, this bleed and polishing valve. Okay. Momentarily. Mm -hmm. And you're going to notice that this thing is going to turn foamy, 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 clear. Once it's clear, you're bled to this point. You have that now. Open the T handle on the top because it's this guy. Nope, this guy. right here. Just crack, crack that so it's loose. Okay. You can crack it more. Just pop it. Okay. okay. So go ahead and open up the drain valve. Well, there's a lot of water in there. Oh wow! And you see the that, water? Yeah. When you see fuel coming out, you can shut it off. You can still see. Oh, I see some gunk in there too. Nope. You're gonna see the gunk, and the gunk is gone. Okay. Now All go right. ahead and close the valve. Put the bung back in. Okay. You can hand me the fuel jug. Okay. And you can see what you took out of there. Wow. It's, it's, that's all water. And that little bit on the top is, is is fuel. You'll have a bucket in your engine room. Okay. And the bucket in the engine room has a rag, has a clean filter. Um, it, it has a half inch valve to help you bleed your engine. And uh, maybe a jug of fuel just in case, um, you know, you need to do something with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... You're going to go up to the helm. Okay. I'm going to turn on the pump and I'm going to shut the fuel inlet off. Okay. You're going to have the alarm go up, up, up top. Cruising along. Okay. Got an alarm? To change this filter out, all you're going to do, uh, number one, you're going to look at your filter bowl. If your filter bowl is full of stuff, you'll want to blow the stuff out. So at the bottom of this filter, we can't see it because we don't have a light. Uh, <laughs> so um, go ahead, jump down there. That little bung off that. Got it. Yep. And then you're going to close the bleed valve. Which is here. Just close it. Okay, close turn it. On, turn on the pump. So you're building up pressure. Now push this lever, this valve up. You can push it up or down. Now you, either way, it doesn't matter. So now, what you're going to do is you're going to let go of that valve. You're going to position this underneath that that petcock. Okay, now open up that valve. Whoa! Look okay, at that. Close it. Okay. So you bled that. All right. So you've pushed you've pushed um, fuel and all the crap out of it. You know, which is nice. So normally what happens is you, you haven't changed this filter in a while. You're going to see some junk at the bottom, maybe a little water. So you, while you're changing the filter, you might as well blow the bottom out first. Then you're going to change the top filter. Okay. Okay. And what you're going to do is, because you have fingernails? No. Okay. Um, 
A screwdriver helps. Screwdriver. You want to grab this little ear, this bar. Okay. Pull it out slowly. And just kind of put it on this rag for now. Let me get out of your way. Okay. So that's what, what it looks like inside the filter ball. That's dirt. Nice and easy. Okay, so now the, the filter bowl is empty. Okay. So you're going to fill that filter up. So before you put the lid on, mm -hmm. you're going to turn on this pump. You're going to push, the, before you push the valve, when you do that, it's going to force fluid in here. It's going to fill it up. So watch from the top. See the fuel lifting up. See yep. it's, that, that's it. It's flat. And if it was leaking, it would start to overflow. Okay. So now you have changed the filter. So now you can. I'll go upstairs, and I'm going to switch it back to filter one. Wow, that is super cool. Okay, so this engine's going to be purring like a kitten forever. Pretty much. I mean, if you give it clean fuel, these things will run forever. All I mean, right. They're really simple. The problem is, is that filters clog, uh, oil, oil, you know, needs up, needs to be changed. And that's really it. And the other thing when you're not using the day tank or, or when you're, when you're motoring or sailing, you can polish your day tank with the motor on and with the motor off. Okay. So you can, you can do that preventative maintenance. Say you left for a couple months and you want to come back and you want to clean your day tank. You have the means to do that. We start up our engines before leaving the dock and we always wonder if everything's okay. Right. And, and yeah, you know, you, you say it must be still running. So what we came up with is, was a way to check the system for integrity and in operation. Integrity is air leaks. Air okay. leaks shut down engines. Clog filters shut down engines. Water shut down. Air shuts down uh, okay. the engines. Um, so we came up with a method. So you can run the engine. We're going to shut the fuel inlet off while you're running the engine. The vacuum on the vacuum gauge is going to come up into the yellow. The alarm is going to go off. So, so we're testing our, our warning system for you know, making sure it's operating. The engine running, the engine's going to start to build a, 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 a vacuum in the fuel system. So okay. it's trying to suck fuel, okay. and, and it's and the, the valve is closed. So it's thinking it's the it's thinking that the the filter is clogged. Okay. So as the vacuum comes up, the alarm goes off. So now you're checking your electric. If you had a big air leak, um, the vacuum gauge, the vacuum switch will never trip. Because because as the vacuum builds up, air comes back in okay. and offsets the. So vacuum. we want the alarm at that point. That's right. So once the alarm goes off, the needle is at a certain point. It might be between eight and ten inches of vacuum. Um, when you shut the motor off, that needle should stay where you shut it off at. If you had an air leak, it'll bleed right back down. You know, people make mistakes, and people have left the dock many a times and realized they never. Should turn down the fuel again so the alarm goes off it's another way of checking your system but uh, i hope you guys if you stick around for this that is really good information um anything you can do to mitigate those things that happen out there and now i know you guys are all thinking about captain ron right now it's gonna happen it's gonna <laughs> happen out there um but let's hope not let's hope it happens right at the dock where it should where we can fix it where we're not getting our asses kicked down there look what the cat dragged in that's not very nice my parents are here <laughs> who is that person hey. who's that who is that the parent unit what where's my mom what you do did you eat did you eat your did you eat your grandma mom good girl wave Oh yeah, the grandmother's here. <laughs> no, he right. I found a farm for the ducks. We're gonna go meet them, and then we're gonna clean up the ducky duck smell, which is fantastic. And yeah, I'm excited for them. They're gonna have a little lake and some other duckies to play with. And we had a really cool and fun experience with our little ducklings. You're so cute. All right, here's the loot for the new owners of our ducks. Funny enough, Searle would not let me keep the incubators because he was afraid I would hatch more birds. <laughs> so, they're in the back of the car. Hey guys, are you ready to go to the farm? This video was brought to you by our friends at Keenan Filters. A product now I don't think I would want to sail without. 
you gonna say bye to your duck friends? Yeah, aw. Frankie, say your bye. goodbyes. Bye bye, duck friends. <laughs> Should we put her in and say there was 10 ducks? Frankie? Yeah. <laughs>